This is everything that I got from Amazon so far. Look how cute these are! It says Apa Roll. Another thing I'm so excited about. feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides, feel it rush. Good morning! Today was finally the day. The last day that I have to sit on this box to do my makeup. Guys, I keep falling in the hole. Like, it's not stable and I keep falling inside of the box whenever I do my makeup. I ordered this chair on Amazon. Literally, Amazon. Best thing ever. It was next day delivery and I'm so excited. It's actually so cute. I wanted kind of a big chair, but I also wanted something that can like swivel and like move around. I feel like my part is kind of crooked. Let me see if I I can fix it there she's swiftly i'll insert a photo she is big it looks cozy i was looking at the reviews so i'm really excited today i'm actually well i want to do an amazon unboxing i want to show you guys everything that i ordered because i got a lot of fun stuff for the house oh that's a lot my boyfriend right now is currently barbecuing i'm so excited i'm like so hungry i got my pumpkin spice or i got this grande shaken apple oh milk espresso this morning and then after andre and i are literally going to see beyonce with a brand and I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but the brand is literally Beyonce. I have to literally check in with my manager and make sure I can say that. But Beyonce is fucking sending me to a Beyonce fucking concert. Like, what the f I'm so excited. I've been wanting, literally, my biggest regret was not seeing Beyonce when I was in Paris. I had so much fucking FOMO. And now I get to see her in LA and I'm so excited. But yeah, I really have to make sure that my makeup stays all day because what time is it today? I think it, it's like 10 a.m. No, I think it's like 12 p.m. right now. And the car, we have a fucking car. The car is picking up from my house in Orange County all the way to SoFi Stadium in LA at 4 p.m. So I told Andre to meet at 4. He's going to come here at like 3, 3.30 to get ready. We want to do like the black pink. I don't know if you've seen, but they put little gemstones on their nose because Beyonce's request for Virgo season was for everyone to wear silver. I think I have my outfit. It's right in the back right here, but I just want to wear something comfortable. That's why I'm wearing this set active set. This is actually, fun fact, the set that my boyfriend found in love with me because he loves boobs and my boobs were just out. And this was one of the first times that we've ever met and I was wearing this and I was at Sierra's house. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. No, I'm kidding. I like him for his personality and he likes me for mine. That's why we live together. And not just hook up with each other. No, I'm kidding. These jokes are crazy. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, if you want to catch a man, this is Sakta. It's like the same color as my matcha green 437 collection. I honestly should wear that today. But yeah, fun fact about this specific outfit. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna try and get ready as quick as I can. Then we can do an unboxing. <laughs> I completely forgot. I wanted to give you guys a little Sephora haul because I got a couple of things. I literally I went to two Sephora's because there's something that I really wanted. It was out of stock everywhere. So the first thing that I got is this one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. It's out of the box because I already used it yesterday, but I'm so excited. This is apparently Beyonce setting spray and I'm so excited because it's kind of giving, it kind of feels like a hairspray a little bit. And when I went to makeup school, they were like, oh, you know, a lot of times like drag queens will actually use hairspray as setting spray because they're performing they're sweating and setting spray really sets things in place kind of gives the same vibes as setting spray and i'm so excited to be wearing that hopefully my makeup actually does last all day the next thing i got was a refill of my refi brow sculpt because let me show you it's really hard for me to go through makeup because i have so much of it but this thing i use every single day like i don't even there's barely like it's hard for me i, I literally i go like this like i get the products on the side and i like barely have enough product to put it on my eyebrow i know it looks like there's product on there but like it really doesn't come off a lot so so I'm so excited. I got this, this one's in the clear one. And at first I didn't see it out on the counters. And I was asking the lady, I was like, hey, can you help me? Like, I really want to get this brow sculpt. And like, at first this one size sent me and this, they were both sold out. So I was like, like I'm at Sephora I can't even find anything that I want she's like let me look in the back so she found that one size setting spray she found this in the little container it is literally just a clear brow gel but it is so good I love the refried brow gel I'm so excited to use this the last thing wait yeah the last thing that I got was this makeup by Mario Master Matte's liquid eyeliner so I feel like I saw this because I follow this influencer Alyssa uh, Alyssa D I think she's from Toronto and she does makeup reviews and she always has her iconic cat eye this is her favorite eyeliner I bought it I want to say like a year ago and I just use that my mind's all dry up now but I use it and I feel like it's not the same formula like it's not as black 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 the other formula was like black 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 like it was so dark like the darkest eyeliner I've ever had in my entire life but I don't know I don't know if this one's just different or maybe I just have to use it a couple times and then it'll have the same formula you know how it's like mascaras are like good 
that after like a week of using, you know? So I'm excited about these little products. Ah! And hopefully these products just make me look like a baddie because I just spent like hundreds of dollars on them and I really hope they make a difference. I don't even think boys notice stuff like this. Like I swear, boys don't notice anything. You know, I photoshopped myself really bad on FaceApp when I wanted to show my boyfriend see if he notices anything. He didn't even notice. Can you believe that? Like I feel like me and my friends, like we laugh at like, you know, the, the bad photoshopping and like the bad, you know, hourglass figure, you know, whatever bad photoshop. He didn't even notice. Like what the f Boys don't even notice this shit, I swear to God. I feel like boys almost, they don't look at tiny little details. Like you know how girls are always like, oh I love your nails, oh I love your this, oh I love your that, I love your eyebrows. Boys just like look at the overall, sorry my efforts are itchy. They just look at the overall picture and they're like hot or not. Like they just like don't, I don't even know if they think like that. I don't know how they think, honestly. I think they all just take what they can get at this point, I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup. I think I'm just gonna do my regular makeup routine. I'm gonna do like a winged eye with like a half lash everyone asked me what lashes I use and I use these ones from Amazon I think I literally just search up wispy eyelashes and they're one of the non brand ones I cut them in half and that's what I use for my lashes because I don't know whenever I use a full lash like even when I was on I went to New York for this little project that I'm doing for the holidays and I, there was this makeup artist there and they put a full lash on me and I was like you know I just for me in my eyes I feel like a full lash like closes off my eyes and make my eyes look smaller but when I do a half lash it makes it look Look more like cat eye and almost makes my eyes look like bigger or I don't know just the way that I like it so I was like can you like take off the lash and cut it in half and just use the half lash and we did that and it ended up looking so good but yeah you know what maybe wait maybe I take it back this eyeliner is pretty good no I do love this eyeliner it is really good okay I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup oh my god what do I do I just got like eyeliner I think inside my contact do you see that oh that was scary okay I'm sorry Did it. It's kind of cool and like refreshing. <clears throat> Swallowed it a little bit, but this is like second day hair. I honestly kind of like it. I like the look of like the messy second day hair. I might just keep it. I don't know if I want to touch it up. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a widow's peak and I've been so stressed out recently that I literally like picked at the mall and it's not there anymore. Like that's how stressed I've been like moving and shit. And also I like yesterday I was also stressed because I was like meeting my boyfriend's friends, like new friends. And I was just like super stressed that I was like literally like, uh, like picking at it. Does anyone else do that? Like, f it's like a really bad habit. But mm, here's the makeup. I want to show you the dress I want to wear. Um, I think it's this one because Beyonce wants us to wear silver. Okay, silver chrome. This is an off the shoulder dress. It would look like this. Boom. Oh, it's kind of dark. You can't really see. Mm, this is from Cuckoo. And I think it's super cute. And I'll probably wear some like high, like knee high boots with it. But let's change. Mm, the food is ready. Mmm, smells good. Tell me what you made. Ooh. Rim. Wait, what's in there? Ooh, corn. My Amazon packages are right here, but I didn't even give you guys a house update yet because I think it was two days ago. I got a task rabbit to come here and he put up a bunch of stuff. Wow. Oh my God, I'm like falling on my Louboutins. But now we have a front entryway mirror so you can check out your outfit before you leave or head out the door. I love this mirror. I had this in the old apartment, but we never hung it up. We also hung up the TV and then the three mirrors. I feel like it made a huge difference. <laughs> Sorry, that apartment or the house is kind of messy. There's still a ton of boxes, still a lot to do. Like even just this pile right here is all giveaway and goodwill donations. And we also have a TV upstairs in our bedroom. I'll just show you. And now we have a TV hung up up here. We watched. Wait, what was the movie that we watched? We watched. I need to really clean this. Oh my god. I think The Flash on HBO, and it was actually so good. I didn't even know that this movie came out. I feel like nobody did any like promo or talked about it. It was actually so good. It was like Marvel. And, like Wonder Woman is it in it? Andre and I love Wonder Woman. We would watch um, the Wonder Woman movie all the time and we would call the Amazonians the baddies. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god, it's like, hi The Frenchie clean <laughs> towel. <laughs> Our only clean towel. Ooh! Ooh! She looks medium. Medium? Mm -hmm. Ooh! Thank you. So I'm gonna add spicy mayo. Now she's begging. <laughs> Has she been around you this whole time? <laughs> you were begging? Come up here. This is your chair. Up, up. <laughs> Should I dip this in sauce? Is that, a, is that a, I feel like people aren't gonna like what they're like, you're like, you shaking the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. The shrimp and spicy mayo. Mm. Oh my god, you need to have that. 
The shrimp was spicing me out. So good. The moment that we've all been waiting for. Ta da! Okay, this is everything that I got from Amazon so far. I have another order. It says it's coming by 10 p.m. today, but I don't know what time it's gonna come because you know, sometimes they let you track it on the Amazon app and you can like see where they are. And it says like two stops away and you can like know when they're gonna come, like around what time. But I have literally no idea. So I'm just gonna do an unboxing with this and then hopefully when the delivery truck comes, maybe before, after Beyonce, I'll add that as well because I got a lot of fun things for the house. The first thing that I wanna show you is, I obviously didn't put it together yet because I just got it the other day. But I got a bed frame for the guest bedroom because the old bed frame in Marina Del Rey, it was just broken. Andre broke it with an ex-boyfriend. I don't know if that's TMI or if I'll let me put that in, but he did. <laughs> but he's made up for it because it was my bed frame and he gave me his mattress, so he made up for it. But yeah, I got that bed frame and I honestly really like it. I think I got a pretty good deal on it. It was like $100-ish, but... Ah! The first thing I got, this is for Blue. Blue, this is for you. I got you Aperol Spritz. Aperol Spritz. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Like, are you kidding? It says Aperol. Like, what? <laughs> so cute and I also have wait I have look at this so while I drink my Aperol spritz blue can drink hers mm -hmm. Aperol spritz time oh my god <laughs> I think Aperol spritz is slowly turning into my favorite drink I don't know if I could really do vodka or tequila anymore I don't know but pickle want to see <laughs> another give me pop ah, ah, ah. give me paw. be nice <laughs> but there's so many like funny dog toys. I think we have a dog toy in her little toy area and it's like a, a dog joint. And I think instead of raw, it says paw, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Oh my God, I think that this is what I think it is. So I have been obsessed with the Chanel slingbacks, but I just cannot deal with the price. The shoes are like a thousand dollars for the shoe, for the heels. And if you want to get the sparkly heels, which the sparkly ones are so gorgeous. I literally tried them on in store. They're 3000 I think. And I was like, I just can't justify spending $3,000 on shoes. So I got, these are like the Amazon dupes. My Amazon recommended is like so good. I saw this and I was like, this is the, this is the Chanel shoe. It just doesn't have the logo on it, but it's all sparkly. It looks exactly like the Chanel one. It doesn't have the little CC and it doesn't have the Chanel logo right here. But hey, I'll take it because you still, you got the same vibe of the Chanel slingbacks for not even a fraction of the price. I think it was like 60 bucks for these shoes. And I feel you could dress it up, you could dress it down. Like, look how cute these are. They're all sparkly and they have the little heel. This, I'm sorry, like Chanel doesn't even have the best quality stuff. Like this is pretty much giving the same vibe. Like, <gasps> wait, I should wear this to Beyonce tonight. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys are so cute. <laughs> oh my god, hey! I'll link all of everything that I show, I'll link in my Amazon storefront. I'm trying to be an Amazon storefront girly. I feel like there's girls on TikTok that are like Amazon storefront girlies and like I just trust them my whole life. They find the best things on Amazon. I'm so proud of this find, so I'll link all of my Amazon stuff in the description because I'm trying to help a girl out. I'm trying to be an Amazon girly. Next up, we needed some trash bins. Oh something still in there oh yeah there was kind of boring but we needed some trash so i just got these are the scented ones the febreze freshness ones and i think this one is 90 percent all bags are made 100 percent renewable energy i don't know just need a garbage bags and i might do this before beyonce too i got some crest whitening strips because i feel like i love a good like white smile and i feel like i feel my best when i have a nice white smile so i like to use these crest whitening strips they actually work and i love them so much next God. Oh, these are my rosebud salve. It's so funny how they package it. <laughs> but it was actually a pretty good deal because I normally get these at the Sephora checkout counter. Um, and I think for a pack of three, it really wasn't bad. It was like 15 bucks, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm not really sure. These are my favorite lip balms in the entire world. They're the rosebud salve ones. Ignore my nails. I need to get my nails done. I like bit them all off. But they're the rosebud salve ones. They have my favorite flavors. Strawberry, original, and chocolate. These are so good. I just, I love having a million of these and putting them in each and every single purse that I have that way whenever I go out I don't even have to worry about having a lip but I don't know I also feel like my mom like I'm Filipino and I feel like our lips are just really dry so I always have to constantly moisturize it another thing I'm so excited about so I was telling you how I went to uh, New York for some sort of like fun campaign that I'm gonna be in the makeup artist used this lip gloss on me and I had to 
I get it. So it's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer in hot chocolate. And I think at first you're like, oh, it's kind of intimidating, you know, it's like a brown lip gloss, but it looks so gorgeous on. Let me put it on right now. It's not sticky at all. The applicator is so gorgeous. Like, I don't know. It just gives like a super warm, chocolatey look to your lip, and I love the look of it. So I'm very excited to use it. The Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate. And I feel like if you have tan skin tones, so they also say that you should match your lip color to your nipple. I'm like, girl. Some people are like, do you have, are, are your nipples pink? I'm like, girl, like my skin tone is literally brown. Like how is it pink? Like I feel like only white people have pink nipples. Like what? <laughs> the next thing that I got, oh, I need scissors. Oh, <laughs> this is my boyfriend's favorite toothpaste. And he was like, can you order me some toothpaste? So I got him some toothpaste. <laughs> So I have a toothpaste. Next, oh, what is this? Oh, I love a good bidet. We had a bidet at my boyfriend's house and now that we have this one, we needed a new one. So I got this one off of Amazon. Girl, it's $30. And if you're not washing your ass after you shit, after you do the dirty, after you go pee, like girl, just wash your ass. It like makes the biggest difference. You feel so clean after. I never feel clean after I just wipe it with a little toilet paper. Like I, I always feel like there's a little leftover, you know what I mean? <laughs> So this gets everything and it's only $30. You can install it right into your toilet. I think you have to wire it, so I'm gonna get him to do it. But I'm so excited. Ah! And this is like kind of TMI, but after sex, you're supposed to pee. And sometimes I can't. Like sometimes you need to drink more water and then you have to like, oh, it's like a whole thing. And then you're like, I don't want a UTI. So I'll spray myself with this. And all I have to say is I haven't gotten a UTI in a long time. So this is the best thing ever. And then the next thing, I got this Ring video doorbell camera because I like to be nosy. And it's, I like to know when my packages arrive. I like to get a notification. And I'm also, I'm going away. So I like to like, you know, see when Blue's dog babysitter is here. Like, you know, whatever. I like to be nosy. So I have the Ring doorbell. And I'm so excited to use it and set it up. Next up, I think this is the other pair of shoes. Ah! I think there are different companies, but still the same like Chanel slingback type of look. Cause I just wanted to try these Chanel slingback dupes. Girl, this is so cute. I wanted a pair of white Chanel slingbacks, but I also could not justify spending $1,000 on tweed slingbacks that I know are gonna get dirty. So I decided to get the Amazon ones. I think that these were like $40 or the Amazon like dupes. And oh, these are so cute. Oh my God. Ugh, I think I ordered a six. I did a six and a half. I should have did a six because these like little slings always come undone, but they're super cute. I think that these would be really fun to just like walk around and they're very comfortable. <laughs> and now I won't worry about it because I feel like sometimes with my Chanel sling bags, I'm like, I want to like baby them because they're just so expensive. But these, I won't feel bad if I like accidentally step in something or I get them a little bit dirty, especially since they're literally fabric and white. So I'm really excited. <laughs> For the Chanel slingbacks, I feel like everybody. Okay, I used to think that Chanel slingbacks were like the grandma shoe, but ever since Sophia Richie, I feel like you could pair it with so many outfits. You can make it look so cute. It has a little grip on the bottom, which is okay. But I think that it just looks cute with everything, and it just makes your outfit look put together. Because sometimes I just like I'll throw on like a Nike sneaker, and I feel like that makes the look look so casual. When I put on a Chanel slingback, it just makes the look so much more put together. You know, dressed up. I feel like shoes make a huge difference in your outfit, and if I don't have to think about it, I just put these on, I feel like, I don't know, it's like the best thing ever. One time, I think I was at a Starbucks and the girl goes up to me and she's like, you're the most put together person I've seen this morning and it like made my whole day. I still remember it like a couple weeks later because it like made my whole day. But I think it's literally because of that because I like, it's just the little accessories, like not just throwing on like a Nike sneaker, not just like doing a hoodie. I mean, I'm like kind of a hypocrite right now because I'm wearing a hoodie right now, but I'm, you know, I feel like going out and like having little accessories like this can make you look so put together. Anyway, next in this big box. I got, ooh, okay. So I saw, I started following this girl on TikTok. I have to, I forget her name, but I'll probably send it to you, Rosie. She makes these Barbie cocktails and I want to make them so bad. You guys know, I want to have a housewarming party within like a week or two. So I definitely want to make like fun cocktails for everyone. I got these martini glasses for Hammond Ripple Coupe glasses. I think that they're so cute because I have a bunch of wine glasses, but not like martinis. So this will be really cute if we want to make little cocktails. And then I think this is the glitter. I got some pink edible glitter. Glitter. This is specifically for drink and mixing edible glitter sparkles in rose pink and every person that does the little cocktails has this little mother and it makes the drinks look so cute. I'm excited. I'm gonna be a little drink mixologist. I'm so excited. I also saw nobody better copy me. I'm gonna say my idea. Oh. Is that my Amazon packages? Go. 
Wait, who is that? I heard her Amazon Hold on, pocket. Mario, go on. Would it be my vlog? Hi, vlog. I have FOMO. The bitches are hanging out without me. <laughs> <laughs> I was tracking you. Where were you? You were like at a random park. I was like, is Andre hooking up with someone that I don't know? Like, oh. okay, this is my last package. Oh, I got so excited. I thought you were my Amazon package. The last thing that I got. I'm so excited about this. I found this and I'm, I'm, Blue's gonna have a field day today. This Hermes, it literally says Hermes, little dog toy. Look how cute this is. Are you kidding? This gives me so much serotonin. Blue, what is this? Blue, what is this? What is this? Will you like it? <laughs> it's so cute. I love her little dog toys, her little bougie dog toys. And then another thing that I got, Hailey Bieber uses this lip liner. It's in the shade. I saw it on TikTok. People are like, it's like, it was a stitch of like Hailey and then they stitch and they're like, this is the lip liner that Hailey uses. It's from NYX Cosmetics. And this is the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle. This is the one that she uses. It's kind of like this mauve nude color, which I always gravitate to these kind of colors. It's like the mauve-y, like, kind of like brownie looking like imagine this together <sighs> Also, side note, I tried the Rode lip whatever gloss that everyone uses. Why is it so sticky? I feel like no one talks about that. Like, they're like, oh, the Rode lip gloss is like the best thing they've ever had. Girl, it's so sticky. Like, am I crazy? No one's ever said that. And I'm like, am I being controversial by saying that? I don't know. I don't really like the Rode lip lip whatever it's called. But hey, if, if Hailey Bieber invites me to some sort of event, mind your business because I will be posting it. <laughs> Here, I got some wine glasses because I want this a difference between drinking from a wine glass that's like a thick wine glass and like a thin wine glass this is like a thin motherfucker. you're scared that she's like on the verge of breaking but for some reason when it's like an ice cold rosé in like a thin wine glass it tastes better so i'm really excited i got this it's gonna go on the bar cart and i feel like it'll look really cute and it'll be really good for hosting and the last thing i got is are these tide pods because we have a lot of laundry to do and i want to clean the couch the couch is kind of dirty we have lots of loads to do but yeah that's everything that I got. And hopefully I get my Amazon packages before we go to Beyonce soon. I'm gonna change into my outfit, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, look at this merch. I don't chase, I attract. She's coming in green. I don't know if she's launched by the time I upload this video, but <laughs> Adelamorton.com. Okay, here are my dress options for Beyonce tonight. I don't know what I want to do. I might make a TikTok and ask people what I should wear. But I don't know. I was looking at my shoes compared to this. And this just like looks kind of like brown compared to the shoes. Like I don't know if they necessarily match. So I was going through my closet and I found this like white fox like glitter silver set. And it's just like so loud. I love it. And I feel like if I'm going to wear this anywhere, it's going to be to a Beyonce concert. So I think I might wear this because it just goes with the shoes a lot more. I don't know. I feel I feel bad because I actually was planning this for like a, a couple weeks but I'm gonna do this one let's try okay well the other just doesn't seem fit me so I have to wear this one anyways this one is so cute it's so sparkly I'm gonna put on the Chanel slingback dupes literally $60 as opposed to 3000 I hope Beyonce likes my outfit because it's gonna be hard to move I feel like my boobs are about to explode at any moment I definitely need to bring a jacket just in case my boobs we should do put explode. this in your bag just in case we need to touch up too. Like, oh yeah, yeah. The shoes, but I'm like, I think this is the outfit. And look at what Andre's doing. I'm tweezing my brows. Wait, show the makeup. The gems. I want to do that. This is what Blackpink did. I have the tweezers. <laughs> Wipes off hair. <laughs> Okay, how did you do what you just did? I put one in the center. I started in the center and then I moved out towards my eyes. Oh, it's lower on the bridge. Oh, I did literally with my hands. I could not deal with the tweezers. Okay, almost got it. Maybe the tweezers do make it harder. I don't know, is this too much? I can always take it off. One more. I feel like this one's crooked. There, she's dead center. Wait, this is so cute. The only thing is, so this says from White Fox, which if you want to get it, use the code Adel and WF for 15% off. But one thing I do remember when I wore it at Coachella is it pulls on your hair. So Oh, I just have to be careful, but Beyonce fit. To finish off makeup with one more setting spray, but I think I'm gonna vlog the Beyonce concert on my phone. They don't allow cameras with detachable lenses and they won't let me in with this camera. So, so Beyonce's hair brand sent me to the Renaissance store and girl, she got money. She said, I want you guys to enjoy yourself. So let me get you a driver, a personal driver. What? But this is just the first of many surprises and the night is still young. She had this little message that she wanted us to hear. It's Beyonce, welcome. Along my hair journey. She I just said my name! Story. Is that AI? I look forward to sharing it with you. But I'm a little bit tied up in one of my favorite sacred spaces where you will join me later. Y'all ready to run up the night? <laughs> Can you replay the beginning part? Hello, Adelaide. <laughs> Welcome. So 
I asked one of the girls who works for Beyonce's hair brand, which by the way isn't out yet, and she said it's not AI. It's actually Beyonce saying my name. Beyonce said my name. I'm so happy we ran into some familiar faces. We saw Sam. The Tokyo group was back together, and we got escorted to our private suite. Like, this is what celebrities do, and I feel like such imposter syndrome that we're even here. But, oh my god, I felt like I was living the luxurious life. You can get your drinks here. You can get food here. They have full service bar, a whole buffet, which I'm about to show you. And if you have to pee, you know how annoying it is when you're like watching the concert and you have to pee and you don't want to leave your seats. There's a toilet in the suite, so you don't have to worry about oh, well, you know, if there's a line or missing the show. There's also a little photo booth, and we got some goodie bags. I wait. Oh my god, I need to show you guys a full unboxing. But look at this is the thing that caught my eye. Tiffany and Co. And look at this, it's a custom made Renaissance Tiffany and Co. Necklace. Like, are you kidding? This was the food buffet, girl. I wish I didn't eat anything today so I could just fill myself up here like oh my god it was so much food we got there pretty early we got there around six and the show started around nine so we had a lot of time to kill I ran into a lot of you guys and you guys were just passing by the suite and you're like girl can we get a photo I'm like of course you could get a photo if you ever see me in public please say hi because I love meeting you guys and I also caught up with some of my friends that I haven't seen in so long and I think the most starstruck I've ever been was meeting Beyonce's mom we couldn't take any photos or videos with her but I just like kind of got a sneaky one I watched most of the show at Club Renaissance let me say I got so close you guys like I could touch the barricade I was so surprised myself I'm not normally one to like go to the front because I'm always scared of like getting pushed and shoved because I'm so little but everyone there was so nice and everyone there was just passing the vibe check guys I got so close to Beyonce like th these videos are literally my prized possession like look at how close I was wait till the last video I got really 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 close but her voice like even in the voice memo her voice is like butter and her <laughs> outfits were amazing all of the songs everybody knew every song and since it was her birthday Diana Ross and Kendrick Lamar came out which I thought was so cool everyone was freaking out at that point and Club Renaissance was lit also I was like in Club Renaissance tickets were like $10,000 so I can't believe I was able to go but I have no idea when Beyonce's hair brand is gonna launch they didn't tell us anything not even if it's gonna be like products like hairspray or like extensions but all I know is I'm excited <laughs> end the vlog here i hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog today is a merch shout out of the day goes to katie on instagram she's wearing her got rights must be nice crew neck and she looks so cute in it you just tag me that's how you become merch shout out of the day or tip of the day and then today's tip of the day goes to ollie on instagram and their tip of the day says if the universe put a dream in your heart and it it's every intention for you to make it happen i know it seems like super delulu but sometimes you just have to be delulu to make your dreams come true you can make them come true like i'm literally a girl from like Brampton, Ontario. Like nobody's even heard of that city. I'm from Brampton, Ontario. And I didn't grow up with much. And now I'm like here in, you know, Orange County. I have a house with my boyfriend and like I have my best friend. And we're on our way to see Beyonce with like literally the coolest brand ever. Like I'm wearing White Fox with the clothes that I was gifted to. And like this is everything that I could have ever dreamed of when I was 13 years old. And if I, if I could talk to my 13 year old self and be like, this is everything that I've achieved. Like this is everything that I've done. I wouldn't have been able to, you know, believe it. I'd be like, oh my God. Like everything that I dreamed of literally came true like it's so crazy I just I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed to have this life and I'm so blessed to have you guys and I'm so blessed to be able to go to Beyonce today and have this house and have blue and everyone and I just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate you so much and yeah I'll always always say that and it doesn't matter if I you think I'm annoying because I say it so much but I just need to let you guys know because I feel like the only way to manifest more into your life is to be grateful for what you already have but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you guys in my next vlog I'm here if you ever need to talk same place same time I'm here Monday and Friday on my vlog channel and every Wednesday on my podcast here on Girl Talk. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys um, in my next one. You want it, you want it. I know you want it, want it.